Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Zoho CRM and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create an invoice in your Zoho CRM? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create an invoice in your Zoho CRM anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that managing different payments or invoices can be time consuming. And with Zoho CRM, you can manage all that in one place. What Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Zoho CRM. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Zoho CRM and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and create an invoice in your Zoho CRM, here on the top line, you want to click on invoices. If you don't see it there for some reason, just click on these three dots. Once you click there, just look for invoices. Either way, it's going to bring you to the same place. Okay, once you do that, you want to click on the blue create invoice button. Okay, guys, so here is where you can go ahead and create an invoice. So anywhere you see red, that has to be filled out in order to create this invoice. All of these other options, you can fill them out if you wish to do so, but it's not required. Whenever I'm filling out an invoice, I always try to fill it out as much as possible because that way you can reference that information back in the future if you have a dispute with your customer. So first you want to go ahead and add a subject. Okay. So I went ahead and put YouTube channel creation in 90 days, not 90s. Okay. Here we can go ahead and add a due date. So let's go ahead and put this out for a month. Okay. And the account name. So we click here and then it's going to show all the different companies you've already input. If the company that you're invoicing is not part of an account, you can go ahead and click here and create a new account. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Okay, here we can go ahead and add a contact. So this is the person who would be receiving the invoice. If there's a purchase order, you can go ahead and put that here. So let's say one, four, five. Here you can go ahead and add the billing address and then also the shipping address if it applies. Down here, you're going to go ahead and start adding in products. So just click here on products and then you can go ahead and pull one of the products you've already put together in your Zoho CRM and just click on it and it's automatically going to be added into your invoice. Now, if you have another product that you need to add in, you can click here, add row. And then when you click here for a product, instead of choosing an existing product, you can just go ahead and add a new product. Now, if your customer is going to be buying two or multiple, you can go ahead and change the quantity here. So let's say they're doing three different channels with me. And then down here, you can go ahead and add a discount and any tax that would have applied and any adjustments. And they're going to see the grand total right here. So terms and conditions, you can go ahead and put payment terms in there. Description, maybe you want to go ahead and fill that out. So that way they're not confused why they're receiving an invoice from you in Zoho. So once you fill it out as much as you need to, in order to save your invoice up here on the top, right, click on the blue save button. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see that we put together that invoice. Now that we have the invoice, we can go ahead and click up here on the three dots on the top, right. And now you can go ahead and export it as a PDF. You can also print it out directly from your Zoho CRM. Or if you want, if you set up your email, you can go ahead and send an email with this customer invoice directly to your customer. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create invoice in your Zoho, CRM. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.